Hello, hello, my paper peeps. Welcome to my first, what I call, monthly method. This is the first of a series of videos that will give the card maker or the one who likes to journal or the scrapbooker tips and techniques on leveling up their creative journey. Today is all about coupons. I will show you how to make a tear off coupon book that you can add to your scrapbooks, cards and journals to make them more interactive and allow you to connect with the ones you love well after you've blessed them with a card or a gift. So join me as I show you how to make an easy coupon book in this tutorial. The first thing you want to do is make it easy for yourself. There are a ton of downloadable coupons that you can get off the internet. Some of them you can actually edit from your computer, but either way, cut them up, line up the edges, you can use an adhesive PVA glue for the binding. Here I used one from Line Co. You can use any polyvinyl acetate glue. What that really is, is white glue. So instead of spending a ton of money on this Line Co PVA glue, you could actually use just Elmer's glue for $5. Unless you're actually doing large book binding, then Elmer's glue will be perfectly fine. If you are going to do large book binding though, per apparently, is the best for book binding. So check that out if you're interested. What I'll do is I'll place clips on the book just to prevent the pages from shifting around. And you place a, a moderate amount of adhesive on the edges there and let it dry. Usually it takes about one to 10 minutes for it to dry. And if you want to add a book cover to it, that can be easily done. What I usually do is measure out the book and then just cut up a piece of paper that would span the length of the book on both sides. And then see here, I just wrap it around the book. If you found this video to be really helpful, make sure you stamp the like button so that this can spread to more of our crafting community. If you have a score buddy, that will make the book binding a little bit more defined. So you can use that and then add a bit of adhesive to the book binding and then place your coupon book in the middle. And then make sure you let that set for at least five to 10 minutes before you start fiddling around with it. And if you like simple craft hacks like this, make sure you watch the next video on how to make a perfectly rounded wax seal. I know, I allude to this video a lot, but it's really good craft hack. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this monthly method of showing you how to make coupons.